When it comes to your home, I always say fix things from the outside in. Your roof is an important part of your home and it has an impact on your curb appeal. What do homeowners want from their roof? A good looking roof is important, so research color choices, architectural styles and deep shadow lines. But more importantly, you want your roof to be quality that lasts. This means you should be looking at the warranty, impact resistance and overall durability. Here's another thing to consider. You want a low maintenance roof, which means not having to worry about black streaks caused by algae. Hi, I'm Sherry Holmes and I'm in beautiful Collierville, Tennessee, which is a suburb just outside of Memphis. My first time here, so I'm super excited. I'm with Kyle from A-Team Roofing and we're here for an Atlas Roofing competition today. What are we up to? Today we are surprising the homeowner with a brand new roof. Yeah. We're going to replace this unsightly streaky roof with new shingles. And she's going to love that. Help me Holmes, help me! Don't worry Donna, Sherry's on her way. I'm here with Donna and Mark. How excited are you to, to have your roof done today? Fantastic. Pumped? <laughs> Pumped? And it's going to look amazing. When did you first notice your algae streaks? Years ago. It had to be five plus years ago. Isn't that awful? It you get is. your roof, you buy the beautiful house of your dreams, you're so excited and you see these stains and streaks. black streaks. But we're going to take care of that for and you. And I love that. Yeah. Thank you. We're really excited. So I actually have to kick you out of here so I can surprise you later on with a reveal. I'm good with that. Good How does it sound? All right, get on out of here. Right. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll call you later. <laughs> Black streaks can be found anywhere in the country and more so in humid environments. Atlas Designer Shingles with Scotchgard Protector by 3M will protect your roof against those black streaks and preserve your curb appeal. I'm with one of our great customers, Mr. Carl LeBlanc. Now, Mr. Carl here is typically a very happy guy, but his roof doesn't make him very happy. And that's because it has a problem, a streaking problem. <laughs> <laughs> to Mike, Mike Jr. and Sherry Holmes, we know the Holmes brand, but when it comes to shingles, we get serious. <laughs> I love it. Carl, we're going to help you with that streaking problem. Michael is on his way. So Mike Jr., meet our customer, Carl LeBlanc. Carl, Mike, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. You excited for your new roof? Absolutely. Yeah. And you're excited to do it. I mean, beautiful day, you know, nice and hot. Nice and in the 90s. Yeah. But the, the show goes on. We're That's always right. we're always ready. My dad always says, you're, you're not, not made, made of sugar. sugar. You're, you're not, not going to melt gonna up there. Melt so. out there. That's right. Well, we've passed the test. Uh, it gets about 160 degrees up there, so uh, we're all right. Yeah. You're right. I do say that, but stay hydrated, people. So when did you first start noticing the streaks on your roof? Oh, probably about uh, three to four years ago. So Carl, I'm curious, did you know what those black streaks on the roof were? Well, living in South Louisiana with the high humidity, um, I was acutely aware that that was likely algae due to the high humidity. And so uh, I did kind of understand that uh, it's sometimes inherent in this part of the country. Yeah, that's correct, Carl. It's actually a blue-green algae that's airborne and it feeds on the elements within the shingles themselves. Streaks happen fast. Within two to three years of installation, streaks can start ruining your curb appeal. And when did you decide that it was time to do something about it? The streaks are, uh, you know, not aesthetically pleasing to the house. So my wife yeah. decides that something needs to be done to the roof and it was time to take care of it. We're looking very forward to uh, having a new roof on the house. Yeah. Now, how did you pick your contractor to do this roof? Well, um, I was able to contact a friend of mine who walks on roofs on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. He highly suggested to use Atlas shingles. Right. And also the Atlas contractor that we're using, Pelican, I have some past experience with and they did an excellent job. So it was just natural for them to come to my house also. Here's a tip. Do your own research on shingles and the contractor. How long do three tab shingles last versus architectural shingles? Is the contractor licensed and insured? Have you seen examples of their work? These are questions you need to ask. One of the reasons I love working with Atlas is that their contractors that install Atlas shingles have access to all of this information and more to help you make informed decisions about your roof. They make it right. Now, I don't know about you guys, it's getting hot. I feel like we should really get on this roof, start going and, and get this job underway so we can wrap up before it gets too hot out here. Let's get into the good stuff. You ready, Carl? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. I love seeing everything being removed. 
A roofer shouldn't lay your new roofing material over the old stuff. You want a roofing contractor who will pull up the old material, assess the health of the sheathing and make repairs when needed. Hey Sheriff, 